What's up guys? I am on Lake Toho this morning down here in Kissimmee, out bass fishing with Mr. Bill from uh, Alabama. I fished with him a few days ago and unfortunately I did not film that day because we flat out whacked him. We're old school fishing um, with wild shiners. The way that's what made this bass fishing in Florida famous years ago was shiner fishing. So we're out here shiner fishing to see how many fish we can catch and how big a fish we can catch. When he was here three or four days ago, we caught 51. He put the hammer down on them and caught two real big ones, or pretty big ones. We caught a lot of nice fish. We've had a little cold front move through since then. Should have filmed the other day, but I'm filming today. So uh, we're gonna see, we haven't had a bite yet, but it's early. Um, we're gonna see how many we can catch, see if we can get a couple big fish in the boat. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy the show. Kind of a gentle bite, so I don't know what it was. If it wasn't a bass, we're moving. There we go. Yeah, coming out. Be crazy if we're not getting any bites, and then all of a sudden we get a big one. It's the right species, but it's not as big as we wanted it to be. So we caught 51 on Monday. Monday, right? Was Monday. It Monday? Yep. It's Friday. We've been fishing about an hour, and this is our first one. And it ain't a big one. It's not a big one. But it uh, it is our first one. We just gotta catch 50 more. We'll get a little bigger. I've done quite a few shiner fishing videos, but I, I don't think I've ever really explained exactly what we're doing when we're shiner fishing, or I haven't explained it very well. But I have on here a two aught kale hook made by Mustad. I just like these hooks. They hold the bait on real well. They got a big barb, which seems to hold the bait on. I take these shiners and you go right through the bottom lip, right there through that little membrane there and come up through one of the nostrils, just like that. That way you're barely harming the shiner. See how that's just hanging right on there? Shiner can still breathe, swim around freely. And I've got this little green styrofoam bobber here about two and a half feet up. And that's it, basically. Very simple. You gotta make sure your shiners are alive. I see a lot of people trying to nurse injured and half dead shiners, and if they're not brand new and swimming around and working real hard, you're just not gonna catch a lot of fish on them. And one of the most important things, you'll notice in some of my shiner fishing videos, I don't always have the best camera angles. Like we might be fishing into this, the sun might be on this side and all you're seeing is our silhouettes but I'm not out here to make YouTube videos I'm out here to guide people and we always fish these shiners straight downwind because if we fish them across the wind or fish them upwind as soon as you throw them out they're gonna start swinging downwind and the, the more you reel these things in the more worn out the quicker they get worn out and they get beat up every time you cast them so you want to be able to throw them out there right now we're anchored up fishing this hydrilla line they're not really biting yet. I mean, we've, that's our first bass bite. But if you notice, when he's, he's done a lot of shiner fishing. I mean, he's, he's an easy person to take shiner fishing. Because the key to this de whole deal is once you get that bite is waiting. I mean, he waited probably 10, 15 seconds after that bobber went down. And uh, we still hooked him just right in the lip. These Florida bass do not get in a big hurry when, they're, when it comes to eating. And that was a little one. I'm sure we'll catch some bigger ones. We're getting a lot of bites out here. I think we've caught, we've had about six to eight bites in about 15 minutes. Moved away from the grass, out on the shell bed, because I saw them schooling. There were some seagulls out here. Uh, there was cormorants tearing through here. We saw some fish blow up, so I moved out here. And we're getting, they're coming up and crushing the shiners. And I 
think we've caught two little baby ones. One of them that blew up, because I saw him come out on top of the shiner, was a pretty decent fish. But I think they've got to be grabbing him by the tail, because he's letting them run for 20 seconds. And we, the two that we've caught have been... See, we got one down now. Now eat it like you mean it. They're going to stay small if they keep eating this way. That one's actually swimming away from us like they're supposed to. You'd think if they were swimming away from you, you'd at least snag them when you set the hook, wouldn't you? I can't lay a lure down on the carpet without it getting all hung up in it. What? Reel up real quick. That bobber didn't come up. So you still got it? Yep. My God. You know oh what? God. You know what happened there? Your, your line went around some grass okay. under the water. Lord, and when you tighten it out, yeah, it's the best one so far. Oh. It's still not a big one. No. But you know, so that you know, you got hung up on that little patch of hydrilla before. Yeah. When, yep, your, when right. your line tightened out, yep. it was just around the hydrilla. Yep. How about All the good hooks that you've had, we haven't been able to catch them. Uh -huh. And this one sm swallows it. He's a two pounder. Yeah. Shouldn't have caught that one. Shouldn't have caught this one. This one swallowed it, but I mean. Here you go. Number eight coming to the boat. Is that a decent one? Or no? Uh, he hit it like he was a decent one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a decent one. Look at that, they're right in the lip again. Yeah. There. Yep. That's a pretty fish. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. Chunky little thing. Yep. Nice clean entry. We'll give him an eight on the entry. Shiner fishing videos, don't watch them. That's right. That's exactly right. There we go. We need to find a spot where they're going to eat. I did something I don't normally do. We weren't catching them very good this morning. There's a hydrilla bed that I've been driving by for months. It looks too perfect. It's right up here and there's some wa open water. It's a real good hydrilla line. I've literally never seen a person fish it. And we just decided to stop here. Or I decided to stop here. We've been here about two minutes and we caught one. It is a little one, but catching one is a good sign. So maybe we're on to something or maybe we caught the lone resident. We'll find we're gonna give it the old 15 minute try. That was number one in this spot. Number nine overall. That's that big one, he just making sure it was correct. Yeah. Got him that time? Yep. Oh. I may have a little grass with it. It feels pretty good. Then it may just be 
a little bit better fish. That's what I'm gonna say it is. I think it is. We we kind of deserve one today so yeah. far. I think it's a pretty decent fish. It'd be our best one today, I assure you. Even my bad estimation. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Definitely the biggest bite we've had today. Oh, that's a real nice one. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Oh, yay. That's a nice fish. Yeah. On a spot I just stopped on on a whim. Random. Pretty fish. Real nice one. Pretty fish. He's about five, I would say. Real close to five. Want a picture of them? Yeah, let me get one. Just just for in case I don't get another one. And that was number 10. Yep. There you go. One, two, three. Got him. All right. And he acted like he wasn't real serious about it. No. Right, nice. Yep. That buys us another 10 minutes here. There you go. <laughs> on what's called a 10 and 2, which is 10 pounds of grass and 2 pounds of fish, if the fish is still in there. Is there a fish in there? Yes, there's a fish in there. Camouflage, what? Yeah. It was a 10 and 2. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they get that grass on them, they just don't even move anymore. Just a two pounder. Two pounder wear you out. <laughs> like, yep. a bunch of grass. You won't have to worry about that big old grass bed anymore. Yeah, gotta clear that we fish there now. that big one would come back. I've never seen that fish. Is that all fish for him? I'm not sure. I believe it is. I don't think he's the one that made the blow up. No. This is like number 15 today, and I don't know if you guys will see this on the video when it comes out, but about 15 minutes ago, right over here, we had an absolute giant come up and crush one of our shiners. I mean, you could tell by the amount of water it threw. He blew up on it twice, and then he just left it, he killed the shiner and left it alone. And so, we're not getting a lot of bites here, but we're kind of just hoping he comes back. It was a big one. Now every time we get a bite, we think it's him or her. Taking line? Uh -huh. Oh, he let it go. Yeah. Gotta be kidding me. Come on. Does he have it now? He's got a hold of it. He's just not pulling it under. That, that ain't the shiner doing that. That's the fish doing it. I'd reel down and get him before he has a chance to let it go again. <laughs> Oh yeah, you got a bunch of slack. Yeah. Is he on there? Yeah, I didn't quite get slack, yeah. Is he running straight at the boat? Uh, a little bit back that way, yeah, uh, to the back.
Yeah, about. He's a fat joker. <sighs> Little chunker there. Yeah. That sure is. One's got a belly on him. See, dude. Weird, kind of weird, or to me weird. Yeah. He got up there in that grass, and he just—I think he was just kind of swimming along sideways with it. I would have thought it was a gar if he'd have, if he'd have hit it up in there like that. I mean, that line fell a little frayed up. I'm gonna retie it. I thought that was all fish when you said it. <laughs> see if you can just pull and see if it'll rip out. There you go. I don't think he's a real bad one. Unless he's bringing half that forest with him. Well, that ain't a bad one. Man, I thought you had that one though. My heart skipped a beat. That's a nice fish, actually. Yeah, yeah. Look where right where you want to hook yeah, him. How about that? That's where I aim at yeah. every time. <laughs> He's three pounds though. Yeah. Nice to be pretty fish too. Yeah. Go. Man, when he set the hook on that thing, that rod just stopped and we thought he had that giant that blew up on it a while ago. That's a good solid three pounder though. Now he fights. Yeah. <laughs> We're about done fishing today. Wasn't as good as it was Monday. Um, the wind's calming down. We got all these hydrilla gnats all over us. But we caught 20 something. I think we have 22 right now. We still have a couple shiners left, but it's really slowed down. Caught one about five pounds. I think we had a chance at a big one. He didn't miss it, but if you could weigh blow ups, it weighed like nine or 10 pounds as big as the fish was that blew up on it. But we caught 20 something today. And uh, again, just did some old school wild shiner fishing here at Lake Toho and caught some decent fish, a lot of small ones. And right now we're catching a lot of gnats, but please subscribe to my channel. Give me some comments. If you have any ideas of different types of stuff, different types of videos you'd like to see, some how-to videos or anything like that. If you know anything that keeps hydrilla gnats out of your face, Feel free to tell me about that too. And uh, thanks for watching.